signed up for like to speak. Uh, let me go through that. Anybody here who'd like to speak in passing already? All right. Uh, yes, ma'am. Please remember to spell your first and last name for our corporate reporter. After she's had a chance to speak, I'll open it up again for those individuals who've already spoken. Just go ahead and raise your hand. I'll call on you. Come on up. My name is Donna Ellison, D-O-N-N-A-E-L-L-I-S-O-N. -L -L I didn't come prepared to speak tonight, but I feel that I need to. I'm, my husband and I are landowners that this pipeline is going to be going through um, 80 acres of our property. It's actually going to be going probably about 100 yards beside my house. Um, it's also going to be going right through the backyard of my grandchildren's home. Um, so this is very worrisome to me. I live um, about a, less than, maybe a mile from the Swanee River and about a half a mile from Falmouth Springs, which is um, a, one, a magnitude one springs. So I live in between both of them. There are several sinkholes all around our area. And this is going to be going right through this area. It's, it's very worrisome. Right where they're going to be putting it, we had a small sinkhole fall in our field just um, a few months ago. Um, it wasn't a large one, but it still it was big enough that we lost one of our cattle in it. Um, you know, this, this, these things happen, and what, what is it going to do? This is going b beside my grandchildren's home, my home. Um, this is a land that, that we, we, felt, we felt proud. We're going to pass this land down to our children, to our grandchildren. They're not going to want to live here. They're not, they're not going to want to be with this, with this right here beside them that could blow up, that could, you know, harm them or harm their children. They're not going to want to live there. What are we going to do? Um, it, it worries us. It scares us to death. Now, we just don't know what to do. We just are, are, are we just want you to do something. That's all I've got to say. Thank you, ma'am.